What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Raid Shadow Legends. And we're going to be talking a little bit about campaign farmers today. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a develop, development series video here. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about account progression. And we're actually going to talk about the best campaign farmer on your account. Uh, you'll notice here we are using Saurus. He is who I use for my campaign speed farming on Brutal 12.3. He can usually do it in six to seven seconds. Uh, he's pretty fast. He's an uncommon Lizardman champion. Does require a little bit of gear to get his build down to where he can kind of blow through this uh, pretty quickly. But he's a pretty awesome campaign farmer. Now he is kind of a specialist in that you have to go out of your way to build him, level up an uncommon, build him all the way to 60. There are other really good campaign farmers. Uh, Fellhound is the one most people wind up using. Uh, he's a void rare. And again, you have to invest uh, materials in building a rare champion all the way up to level 60 that you may or may not use in other areas of the game. So what I wanted to actually talk about today is taking advantage of what you've already got on your account. And this kind of came up today because I was helping somebody out in Discord and they wanted to do like everything. They're, they're getting to a point in their account where they want to start progressing things. Um, they were talking about wanting to build a Fellhound. So they were asking for like the build stats and the type of gear they would need. But then at the same time, they're like, oh yeah, and I need to do my clan boss. I need to make the move to Ultra Nightmare. But my arena team sucks and I need to start working on arena stuff. I need speed in my arena. And I'm just like, okay, well, you know, you got to slow down <laughs> and figure out uh, one thing or another. Because when you start going off in 18 different directions in Raid, that's when you really start to kind of delay your account progression. And one of the things I see people always do, you know, they see the videos, they see everybody's got the, the Fellhound campaign farming video. Um, I actually did one on Saurus, but in that video I made this specific statement where I'm like, look, don't, I'm not telling you to go out in 60 and uncommon just for this. You know, this is kind of for fun once you get to a certain point in the game and you have the gear and you have the um, the time and the resources that you can kind of waste in building that specific uh, campaign farmer. But the reality is you can actually use what you already have. And I'm going to borrow something that uh, Murder Inc., who's a very, uh, very good raid content creator, always says when it comes to account progression, especially when he's talking about clan boss, he's always like, you know, if you get that double man eater or if you get that ultra nightmare one key team built and done you're done just stop don't go any further you know it's it's like people always ask me personally they're like you know why haven't you built an infinity comp why haven't you done the demitha comp why haven't you done this and i'm like i've got a bad eater that's been one king ultra nightmare for as far back as i can remember why should i why should i waste any more time or any more resources or any more silver or any more gear trying to go in above and beyond because once you get past that 71 point whatever million damage it is it's just the after that it's just kind of a contest i guess people people like to get into it and i, and I get that i get the, the idea behind wanting to you know put up these insane numbers on the clan boss but for your average player or someone who's just trying to progress their account when you get to that point with the clan boss it's like you just stop you don't put any more resources into that part of the game because you can use them elsewhere now and when it comes to the campaign farmer it's kind of the same thing so we're going to take a look at something kind of fun here and actually it's kind of hilarious because for the longest time on my account before I got to the point where I could go and build a source, I used my starter uh, as my campaign farmer for as long as I can remember. So I'm going to put my lane in here. We're going to take a look at her gear just uh, in a minute because what I did is as I was progressing my account, I was always upgrading her gear when I had a chance. You know, I wasn't using anything crazy good on her. Just, you know, anytime I'd get a decent new piece. I would put it on, put it on there and look at that. <laughs> look at that. Elaine just did 12, three and eight seconds. Why did we build a Saurus again? What was the point of that? Let's run it again just to see, cause usually she's between eight and 10. But what I'm trying to say here is that eight to 10 seconds on brutal 12, three is more than fast enough. It's, it's fine. It's all you need. There we go. Another eight second run. So there you look at that. My starting champion from day one on this account. That's two plus years old. I, I could have just used her. I didn't need to build Saurus. Let's do, we'll do one more just to make sure. Uh, you know, and we're going to look at her gear again. Nothing too crazy. Nothing special. I think she's even still got two five star pieces on her from before. She's actually got some really weird stats. Somehow she's got like 140 accuracy in her build just from the random pieces I used because Elaine doesn't need any accuracy. Now, something happened here. We screwed up. I think she weak hit somebody. So there you go. We, we, we goofed there. We got an 18 second run. So that's... 
you know, that's going to happen once in a while. But we're using our starter. <laughs> Again, we didn't have to spend all the silver and the gear and the masteries and sink all the resources into building source. There we are right back to eight seconds. So we had that one 18 second outlier. I'm going to leave it in because I'm, you know, I'm full of honesty here in my videos. I'm not going to hide anything if we have a, a bad run or something happens like that. But let's just go one step further here. And we're going to put somebody else in. Somebody who no one likes in this game. Uh, if we can find him here. Here he is. Our, our poster boy for raid. Let's put Galek in. And we're going to put Galek into the same test and see how Galek can do here. And look at that. One shot's the first wave. Looks like he's going to get through this one pretty quick. Looks like we're going to be right about the same time if he gets enough attacks off here. Of course, he did not. He screwed up the third wave. So now we are going to have a little bit of a delay here. But 15 seconds, not terrible, you know, not 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 too amazing, but not terrible, serviceable, certainly serviceable. Now, if he gets a perfect run here, he can probably do the same thing that Elaine did. And pretty much any of your starters are going to be capable of giving you these um, halfway decent times on 12-3. Obviously, Elaine so far is showing Galek up. She's getting back at him for joking about her getting eaten by the dragon. So that's uh, completely fine right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to let Galek go a couple more times just to see if he can put a, a respectable number up on the board here. To see if he can get that 10 seconds. But it looks like he's just not cycling his cooldowns properly here. So, yeah, he's going to be a little bit slower here. But I have had Galek run it around 10 seconds before. Uh, he's just embarrassing me here because I'm trying to make this video. But the point still kind of stands. Once you get down into this time range, if you can do it with your starting champion... Uh, on your account, there's really no reason to go out of your way to build another campaign farmer uh, just to kind of say you can do it. Um, you know, you're seeing here that Galek works just fine. We saw Elaine doing eight seconds. Um, when I had Elaine at one point in my account, it's like she was doing 20 some seconds. Then I got her down to where she was doing 15 seconds. Then I got it to 13. And then I finally got her down to 10 and below. And it was really more of a thing with Soros where I was like, I just want to do it. I just want to build it. I want to have some fun. I'm at the point of my account where I can actually afford to do it. Um, but you guys kind of get the picture now of what I'm trying to say is don't go out of your way just because you saw a cool video. Uh, don't go out of your way to try to build some crazy campaign farmer. Like if you see somebody doing six seconds with Biggin or Skull Crown, uh, you know, don't go out of your way to waste your resources because you simply don't have to. So let's come on down here. We'll take a look at my Elaine and the numbers we will have here. Kind of what you want to shoot for, but you can see here she's in a five-star glove. I think these are crit rate gloves. Yeah, we just tried to make sure she was crit capped. And we'll just take a look at her total stats here. Now, she's only at 165 crit damage. So again, not that amazing. And her accuracy, for some odd reason, we got, obviously we're going to get 80 from the Great Hall, but we're we're picking up a little too much from some of her gear pieces. So at some point I should go rebuild her. But like I said, this is old gear. It's been on her for over a year at this point. Uh, probably longer than that. Uh, you see 212 speed. You know, that's fast enough to usually go twice before the enemy and 12-3. And then she does have 4,700 attacks. I did build her pretty, uh, pretty glass cannon. I used to use her as my arena nuker. Um, I think at that point. I don't I want to say she had more crit damage, but... I don't know, but this is the kind of build she's in. All that we really have on her is a two-piece cruel set. And you can see there that she was basically uh, running through it. Pretty good there. Eight seconds a run. Very good. That's almost as fast as my Saurus. So we could have just kept using Elaine. Uh, but obviously as a content creator at the time, I was getting, you know, the content creator program rewards. And unlike some of the other content creators, I actually like to use those uh, to make content. Uh, a lot of people just sit on those rewards and hoard them for whatever. I don't know what they use them for, um, but they don't use them to make content. So it's like you're part of the content creator program and you get those rewards. So I would build all these crazy champions with that stuff. That's why you see half the stuff on my account where I've got four grapplers or these throat cutters that we joke around with in Arena. This, you know, we built Saurus. So. Uh, just kind of show you guys the potential of some of those uh, champions. But like I said, if you have a decently built starting champion on your account, uh, I know Kale can do this because I use Kale as my campaign farmer on my free to play account forever, and he can easily do 11 to 12 seconds on 12 3. There's really no reason to go out of your way to sink a bunch of resources into building a Fellhound, into building a Saurus, 
um, anything like that. Because at the end of the day, you can just use Elaine, you can use Aethel, you can use Kale, you can use Galek. Uh, I'd probably put him last on that list though, because it seems like uh, the others can be a lot more consistent around that eight to 10 second uh, time period. But uh, again, I think all her books, you know, all her books are, are done as well. She's, I mean, like I said, she's been my starting champion two plus years on the count. So she's gonna have a little bit of stuff put into her. So um, that's pretty much it for the video guys. Again, I'm just trying to help you save a little bit of resources and uh, save focus. So instead of worrying about trying to get this super fast 12-3 farmer, uh, you know, you can move on and use those resources to build something else, work on your clan boss, maybe improve your arena team. Uh, it's going to save you time. It's going to save you some resources. If you just put a little bit of decent gear onto your starting champion, um, just to get those decent damage numbers, you can pretty easily clear 12-3, uh, which is obviously going to help you out uh, for champion training and for other things. Grinding a little bit of silver now and then uh, if you, while you're doing that too. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. As always, if you have any questions about anything you saw, feel free to leave it down below, and I'll do my best to get you an answer as soon as I can. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you again next time.